This is Kyle O'Reilly here at Smash Wrestling in beautiful Toronto, Canada. You're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Kyle O'Reilly. Hello. Is this thing on? Yes, it is. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm awesome. How are you doing? Good, thanks for having me on the show. Of course, thanks for joining me. So we're here in Toronto at the Phoenix Smash Wrestling car. How are you feeling about the match that's to come? Uh, looking forward to it. Um, a little bit tired, but uh, I know once the music hits and I hear the roar of the crowd, um, it's go time. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Until hearing that music, do you still get nerves walking up that ramp? I think always um, it's good to have a bit of nerves. It's more of like an excitement type of thing and um, just like a bit anxious. But uh, it's always a good feeling, and um, anytime I get to wrestle, it's just, I'm living my dream, so I can't complain. You played a lot of different sports growing up, so when did you realize that wrestling was the dream? I think everyone who becomes a wrestler has a love for it as a kid. Um, you know, you grow up suplexing your pillows on the couch, and then your buddies on the trampoline, and then there's just some of us that just never grow out of it, and uh, we <laughs> pursue it to the extent of making a living in it and traveling the world and I think you you have to just have that um, just that undying passion and love for it to really take to that level you know the main difference is just trading the pillows for people exactly yeah <laughs> this is the first time you're actually going to be facing Jeff Cobb right? correct yes so is there anybody else that you'd love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that you've yet to um I'm not really the type that ask who, who do you guys want to see me face or I'd really love to have a match with this guy I you know it's it comes down to uh, I consider myself a prize fighter and if someone puts me in sets up a match for me I'm gonna take that match um, I'm not glamoring for certain matches or certain guys um, I'm just wanting to do the best job I can possibly be to possibly do and um, you know if I get to travel the world and wrestle some rad dudes while doing it then so be it you cook and the photos that you post look delicious oh. I have to say they look so good <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. How long have you been doing that for? Cooking? Yeah. Uh, when I was like, when I first broke into wrestling and needed some like money on the side to pay for my wrestling training and stuff like that, I was working at Earl's. I think there's Earl's in Toronto, yeah? I'm not sure. Oh, anyways, it's like a casual fine dining restaurant okay. out in Vancouver. And uh, so I worked there, started as a dishwasher, and then just worked my way up the line and started doing like just all the prepping and everything like that and I really I really loved cooking and I uh, kept that job for a number of years until it was time to to move stateside and really pursue wrestling as my number one uh, career choice and um, learned a lot of valuable skills uh, working in a kitchen and th things that I, I carry on to, to, to today and it's helped me so much just having that background. What would you say is your signature dish? Did, did you have Oh uh, no, I don't know, just kind of, I don't know throw things together. Hot dogs and macaroni and cheese. How about that? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Yeah. Can't really go wrong. Well, I noticed in your description it says UFOs exist. It's as simple as that. So tell me, touch on that a little bit. What do you think's out there? Um, when I was 12, I was camping in Bryce Canyon in Utah with my family and my dad and I were walking back from the washrooms and it was like pretty late at night, but we saw like three lights in the sky that I can remember it vividly to this day. And is just unexplainable and it was certainly it was definitely an un, unidentified flying object I'm not saying it was aliens by any means but um, yeah it was something that stuck with me and I just I love like all things supernatural and paranormal I just think it's really fun and cool and uh, you know who knows what's out there let's just talk music when you're getting ready to either get into the ring or when you're training who are some of your go-to's to listen to um, one of my favorite bands is Tool um, uh, you know, like progressive hard rock and metal and stuff like that, um, I, I'm really into, but I've kind of just love a bit of everything. Like my, my music tastes are very wide and varied and, um, it's hard for me to just really like, there's always, depends on what type of mood I'm in will be, will determine the type of music I feel like listening to. And it's just kind of all over the map, to be honest. With all the traveling you do, is there any time to catch concerts? Is that something that you do when you have downtime? Yeah. Um, what do I have coming? I live in St. Louis now, and so like if someone's coming through town that I on like a weekday, because I'm usually traveling on the weekends, I'll definitely go out of my way to see. Them. I think I'm seeing Future Islands coming oh. up in June. Have you ever heard of them? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, and so yeah, I'll try and see what's what's playing and try and up some shows. My buddy's band. They're a um, like kind of a pop punk hardcore band named called Daggermouth. Kenny Lush, he's a wrestler as well, and 
they used to have like a pretty big following uh, a number of years ago and then they broke up for whatever reasons but they're getting back together now so I'm hoping to see them when they come back on tour I think they're coming through Toronto like next month or something too okay. so you should check them out they're called Daggermouth awesome what was the first show that you went to concert um god maybe like oh Weird Al Yankovic was my very first concert he shot his keyboardist okay. it was awesome <laughs> how old were you when you went to see that maybe like <clears throat> 12, 11 or 12. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty That's a pretty young. cool first concert. Yeah, it was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do a quick fire round with you, so you just okay. say whatever comes to mind first. Sure. All right, what's the wallpaper on your phone? Um, My puppies that I love. I know there's Hank. I don't know Hank and Molly. Photos. Hank and Molly. Yeah. Oh, how long have you had them for? Uh, Hank is five and a half. Molly is like four. Okay. Who would you still love to see in concert that you've yet to? Um, I haven't seen Tool yet. So that'd be a good one. The most boring job you had? Um, like warehouse worker, like sorting boxes and wrapping boxes and stuff. Pretty boring. And then just wrap things up. Anything you want to leave with your fans who will be viewing? Um, no, just uh, keep supporting wrestling at all levels. You know, you guys make all this possible for us. And uh, the passion that you present to us when we're in the ring we put forth as well and so it, it's a it's a give and take energy type of thing so thank you guys and keep supporting wrestling awesome thank you so much for joining me today for sure thank it's you so much for having awesome me. night yeah i'm looking forward to it and remember to everyone viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more see you next time and be